Good morning, West Michigan. Boy, we are waking up to what is a beautiful morning. Very quiet, tranquil start to the day here in West Michigan. And we will enjoy a beautiful sunrise across the region this morning as well. Looking at precip chances after such a super soggy, record-setting rain event over the weekend, along with those chilly temperatures. Not only do we have loads of sunshine, we have precip chances that are virtually non-existent through the end of the week. About 10% chance on Friday. And you can see unfortunate timing here as the rain chances really start to ramp up as we head into late Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures between here and there will hold in the low 80s with all that sunshine today, tomorrow, Thursday into Friday. And as that active weather moves in, temperatures will turn just a little cooler for the weekend. High temps in the low 80s, lows in the upper 50s to low 60s. That is a very comfortable air mass that will be gripping the region. And it will hold on for the next several days. The overall pattern does remain sunny through Friday with the active weather returning for the weekend. 50 Seven degrees in Grand Rapids at Ionia now, 59 in Allegan, 60 in Holland and South Haven, Kalamazoo. Really not much of anything going on across the immediate area. Showers, thunderstorms well back to our northwest, southwest, and east. And that means that we've got a big area of high pressure in control of our weather, and that is going to continue to keep us quiet. Now, there's an outside chance of an isolated shower popping to the east of U.S. 131, we'll call it, but basically to the uh, east of I-69 today, most areas will be completely dry, but Flint, Detroit, over toward Ann Arbor and Jackson could see an isolated shower, similar to what happened yesterday, uh, but overall, most of us will end up with a good deal of sunshine. South Haven, here's a look at the beach, where the green flags are going to be flying uh, along the Lake Michigan shoreline once again today, but I do have a caution for you. Those water temperatures remain awfully chilly. The rest of that eight-day forecast shows the pleasant weather holding on right through Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday and Friday, the active weather for the weekend with occasional showers and thunderstorms developing Saturday, Sunday into Monday. And I'll tell you, for the last full week of summer vacation, looks like we've got a lot of great looking weather for all those outdoor activities. So Tom Hillen, any issues this morning for drivers? Uh, not at the present time, which is the good news, but I do want to get uh, folks in the Holland and Zealand area ready for a total closure uh, that will go into place this evening. This is along the eastbound lanes of I-196. You're used to a lot of construction in that area all summer long, so they're going to completely shut down eastbound I-196 at Byron Road from 7.30 this evening until 8.30 this evening. So not a long duration thing here, but enough where that could cause you some delays if you have to travel through that area during that time. Also keep in mind that we have lane closures along the business loop of I-196. That's between 84th Avenue and the I-196 interchange. That's scheduled through October. Right now, taking a look at how the freeways in the Holland and Zealand area are looking, not bad. I-196 and US-31 both remain crash-free for us this morning. I'll have another traffic update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Teresa and Donovan.